Hi everybody, today we are going to deal with the characteristics of democracy in the modern world, that is to say how does democracy work in a republic. And what we have to know is that democracy works with separation of powers. This is one of the issues introduced by Montesquieu in the French Revolution. Of course, it was not the intention of Montesquieu uh, to introduce democracy, because remember that he was not a democrat, he was an aristocrat. But all the same, the idea of Montesquieu was completely different from the idea of the separation of powers, which is one of the main characteristics of modern democracy. For example, in executive power in any democratic country, we've got in the country, the executive power is the president, in the province, the governor, in the city, the mayor, as it happens in our country, in Argentina. And in Argentina, we have to know that we elect president, governor, or the mayor with direct elections. This means that you vote for him or her. Uh, we don't vote for electors as it happens in the United States. How does a candidate win an election? In Argentina, with the 45% of the votes, if any candidate gets 45% of the votes, there is no necessity for ballotage. Or he can also win by less of the 45% of the votes but with a difference of 30 points. Let's suppose a candidate gets 38% of the vote and the second one uh, gets 28, that's enough. There's no second uh, round. There is a ballotage, okay? Or ballotage, as in French. For example, what happened in Argentina in the last elections? Uh, Alberto Fernandez and Cristina Fernandez it got 48.10%. That's enough. Uh, let's suppose if Mauricio Macri and Pichetto, uh, let's suppose they got uh, 47%, all the same, there is no ballotage because the first candidate reached more than 45%. And then we've got Urtubey with 6.16% uh, of the vote. But what happens when a candidate does not reach the 45% or does not get that difference, that gap of 10%. There is a second round, a ballotage, as it happened in Argentina in the previous elections when Macri and Scioli went to ballotage and Macri won by 51% and Scioli got 48%, even more than Macri in the last elections. But in the ballotage, there are just two candidates. Well, this is the system in Argentina. Let's talk about the legislative power in Argentina. And we've got in the country also, we've got legislative power in the province and also in our city, in the city of Salta. In the country, it is the Congress, the legislative power. In the province, we have legislatura, and in the city, we've got the Consejo Deliberante. This is the legislative power in Argentina and in our province. What about the Congress in, in, uh, in the national term? We've got that the Congress is composed of the Chamber of Deputies and the Senate. Okay? The Chamber of Deputies and the Senate. How many and why? Well, let's see. Do you know how many national deputies are there in Argentina? Do you know how many national deputies Salta have? Well, there are 257 national deputies in Argentina. Why? Well, let, we are going to talk about it. And Senate, there are just 72 senators. The national deputies are uh, conformed in the number considering the population of the different provinces. For example, Salta has got seven deputies and the city of Buenos Aires uh, has uh, 35 national deputies because of population. 
uh, but the Senate, we only have 72. Why? Because there are just three national Senates by province. That is to say, 23 provinces, 23 times 3 is 69. So why 72? Because there are 24 jurisdictions and one of, one of those jurisdictions is the city of Buenos Aires. Okay? That is why we have to multiply 3 plus uh, times, sorry, 24. There are not 24 provinces, but there are 24 jurisdictions in Argentina. This is the number of national deputies, the number of Senate, senators, sorry, and why they are elected in that way. Well, we have a map of Argentina with the number of deputies. For example, we've got six in Jujuy, seven in Salta, seven in, in, in Santiago del Estero, nine in Tucumán, 25 in the city of Buenos Aires, 70 in the province of Buenos Aires. Why? If you take a look at this chart, you will see that Cava, Ciudad Autónoma de Buenos Aires, with the population and the number of deputies. Buenos Aires, the population and the number of deputies. And we've got Salta here with uh, 1,215,207 uh, inhabitants and with seven deputies. Okay, so the deputies are chosen according to the number of inhabitants that a province has. It is completely different to senators because there are three senators by province or jurisdiction, as in the case of Ciudad Autónoma de Buenos Aires. The judicial power in Argentina, Poder Judicial, you can see there, Corte Suprema de Justicia, El Consejo de la Magistratura, el Consejo de la Magistratura is a body that uh, is in charge of choosing the judges, and then we've got the different uh, fueros, civil, comercial, penal, laboral, contencioso administrativo, la Cámara de Apelaciones y los distintos jueces y el Ministerio Público dividido el Ministerio Público Oficial y Ministerio Público de la Defensa. So, this is the judicial power in Argentina, in the country, of course. We are talking of national sphere. The system of government in the United Kingdom, this is something that it is of high importance to understand because we are going to start with the uh, democracy in Great Britain and United Kingdom. Uh, the system is, as I am going to show you, the monarch, that is to say the queen, non-political. What does it mean, non-political? Uh, the citizens do not elect the queen in national elections. Obviously, uh, we are going to talk about of the system of England, which is a constitutional monarchy. And we've got the legislative, which is the parliament, the executive, and the judicial power. The three powers as in any democracy. The legislative, the parliament uh, in the United Kingdom is divided into the House of Commons, political, that is to say, the members of the House of Commons are uh, elected by in national elections, and the House of Lords, which is non-political. Why? Because the members are appointed by the Queen. The executive power is played, this role is played by the Prime Minister and the Cabinet system. The decision is the Cabinet what we say in Spanish, el gabinete. It is political. For example, Boris Johnson, the current uh, prime minister, was elected in elections or in the, con in the parliament. And the cabinet system, of course. Uh, as you can see, the cabinet is composed of the ministers. Uh, they are non-political. Why? Because they are chosen by the prime minister. And in the judicial power, we have the Supreme Court. This is the structure, the current structure of uh, Great Britain, which is of the United Kingdom, which is completely different from the time we are going to start studying the system. Finally, for you not to confuse 
I am going to explain what is the United Kingdom, Great Britain, and England. The United Kingdom, the complete name is United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Great Britain, and England. The United Kingdom is composed by England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, because Ireland is divided into Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, which is a separatist republic. So, the United Kingdom, is the United Kingdom a country? Yes, it is a country, a country of countries. All these, the English, the Scottish, the Welsh, and the Irish, uh, are British. Each country does not have a passport that is to say, you are not Scottish citizen. No, you are British. They have only one passport, which is British. They don't like each other. Of course, they don't like each other. In fact, Scotland, uh, the country, has been organizing elections to separate from the United Kingdom, but, well, uh, if separatists couldn't get it. Great Britain, if the United States is composed uh, of three of four countries, Great Britain is composed by England, Scotland, and Wales. So the Republic of Ireland is not part of Great Britain. Yep. England is a single country. England is England. It's a single country because many people confuse the United Kingdom with with England. No, England is. A, a country, a different country from the United Kingdom. And there is one separatist republic, which is the Republic of Ireland. It is an only republic which does not belong to the United Kingdom or Great Britain. I hope you understand this difference between the United Kingdom, Great Britain and England. Thank you very much to all of you. See you soon with uh, the democracy, unit number three, democracy of uh, Great Britain, democracy in France with the revolutions that occurred in France, uh, the July Revolution and the February Revolution. And we are going to study the 1905 revolutionary movement in Russia and the Russian Revolution. That is what it is going to come soon. Bye-bye.